following on from my video where I found that cheap 10.111 megahertz crystals could be pulled quite a long way and be useful on the 30 meter band this time I'll try the same with 7.023 megahertz crystals they've become a common frequency often being supplied with the ultra cheap pixie qrp transceiver kit but what if you want to use these crystals to build a standalone qrp transmitter for 7 megahertz it could be handy if you can get a bit of frequency shift this video is particularly important for american viewers that's because in many cases amateurs there cannot operate below 7.025 seeing the crystal for 7.023 they might assume that it's unsuitable for them just like we did with the 10 megahertz crystals we'll see how far above the marked frequency we can shift this 7.023 megahertz crystal to do it i'm using exactly the same vxo crystal oscillator circuit I'll put a second crystal in parallel and then in response to viewers questions I'll put a third and a fourth crystal in parallel firstly I'll try it with no series inductor in order to get a frequency above the marked crystals frequency the lowest we're getting is just below 7023 and as we move up we get exactly 7025 we're not quite as high as we'd like it to be now trying it again but with two crystals in parallel the lower limit is slightly raised just above 7023 at a minimum value variable capacitor setting we're going higher above 7025 up to almost 7027 now three crystals the lower limit is now 7023.5 and further up 7027.6 the pattern is as we add more crystals the lower limit is going up slightly but the upper limit is going up a lot more giving you an overall greater swing in this case we've achieved over 4 kilohertz above the crystals marked frequency now four crystals the minimum frequency is just below 7024 and tuning upwards we can get 7028 so we're going up by a little under a kilohertz per crystal added how good's the keying Still four crystals, but now some series inductance. 10 microhenry in series with 6.8 microhenry. This should allow an excursion of frequency below 7023. So we can get down to 7020, 7022, 7024, 7026. Just below 7028 over 7 kilohertz frequency string this time a bit more ambitious 4.7 4.7 6.8 and 10 microhenry all in series with vxos it's often a good idea to have multiple smaller inductors in series rather than trying to make it all into one big one with the capacitor fully meshed our lowest frequency is 7.016 moving up our maximum is 7027 so about 11 kilohertz of frequency swing as we add inductors we find we're not sacrificing the top end very much but we're extending the bottom end more and more closer to the edge of the band again we'll interrupt power and see what the keying sounds like a very small amount of chirp but probably acceptable for a homebrew qrp rig 
and if you had some buffering and voltage regulation it would be fine. So there's no doubt in my mind that you can add more series inductance and get an even lower frequency and a wider pulling range. But only to a point, then it all goes unstable. If you want to get the most from Amateur Radio, check out my ebooks. Visit my website vk3ye.com and follow the links or search their titles in Amazon.